BLC Network here at CES 2021, an all digital event. We're here with Dan with RoboRock. How are you doing, Dan? Very good. Very good. Thank you, James. Absolutely. And and uh, you guys have something exciting uh, to share this year. You have a new va- a new model vacuum uh, that's a little bit different from uh, the rest. So what do we get to talk about today? Right. So we, we have actually introduced the RoboRock S7, which is the newest you know, Robo vacuum model on our lineup. Um, and basically, it, 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 it brings something new to the table in the form of our new technology called Vibra Rice. So Vibra Rice is a combination of you know, um, a sonic mopping system as well as an intelligent mop lift feature you know, that you know, combined together, it gives you a much deeper clean on your floors with you know, more, much more convenience. So that in a nutshell is, you know, is, is the Roblox S7. Okay, so it cleans using sonic mopping. It's 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 using. Exactly. Uh, I mean, I, I, we we were actually reading the website a little bit earlier, and we saw you know the uh, the marketing in terms of the usage of words of cleaning with sound. <laughs> that was yeah. clever, you know. But so it's using yeah. it, it's it's kind of like uh, using a sonic toothbrush in a way, but on your floors instead. Let me let me tell you more about that exactly, James. Um, so basically, you know, we call it sonic mopping because. Sonic is, is very related to, you know, speed or, you know, frequency that, you know, that comes with sound, right? So normally um, you hear that uh, and, and you hear that on the consumer uh, a product, which is Sonic Toothbrush, right? So it's basically the frequency uh, and, and the frequency of the vibration falls between uh, a range of 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz. So that's Sonic. That's the Sonic range. And with the S7, uh, it, that, there is, a, you know, sideward movements on the, on the mopping module. Right? So it's actively scrubbing against the floor in a sideways movement. Uh, and that, that vibration frequency is, um, is at 50 hertz, which if, if you translate it to times, it's, it's 3,000 times per minute. So that's a whole lot of you know, movement on, against your floor. And that, that would help um, you know, tackle you know, difficult dry-on stains, coffee stains, for example, um, sauce and you know, footprints, mud, you know, you, you name it, you know, anything on the dirty floor, uh, this, this is uh, going to have a more proactive approach towards mopping. In the past, we have also had vacuuming and mopping uh, a combination on our robot vacuums, but it is more a laid back um, style of mopping where you have a, a wet mop module that, you know, follows up the vacuuming, uh, but there's no movement. Uh, and with the S7, we think this is going to change things. It really does sound like that because that's a, that's one of the one of the disadvantages of, uh, or disadvantage of a lot of the the robots that can do mopping on top of vacuuming is the fact that they they don't really do that good of a job, you know. So and it depends on which model you get. Some of them can usually do a pretty decent job. Some of them are kind of gimmicky, you know, and it's because of that. So that does sound quite exciting because that could change the game in terms of actually getting something accomplished while it's attempting to mop your floors. Uh, now it can also raise the mop as well. So, is, am I right about that? It, it can actually kind of move from mopping and then straight into carpet, you know, carpet and vacuuming all in one job. Right, right. So, with when you have a, a robot vacuum, which you know, which comes along with a mopping module, so that's you know, the mop module is wet, right? So you wouldn't want uh, the mop module to. You know, when the robot vacuum gets onto carpeted surfaces, you don't want it to continue mopping, uh, you know, putting out the water flow and, you know, you, you get the idea, right? So what we have done here, um, right, is, is to install a very intelligent mop lift feature, which is automatic, right? So uh, it works in tandem with the new uh, carpet recognition uh, sensor that we have on the S7 where you know, once it gets on top of the front of the rubber vacuum that is uh, that's a sensor that works with you know, ultrasonic uh, sound um, and it detects basically the text carpet and then it activates the lift. And so by the time you know, it's on, you know, the S7 is on carpet, um, mopping stops, the scrubbing stops, the, the waterfall stops. So you, you, you basically get only vacuuming on carpet automatically without your manual input. Right, so that's that's one added benefit to to this uh, Vibrarize technology. That's also pretty cool. Yeah, that we've seen uh, yeah. uh, on top of that, we've seen uh, you know I, I won't mention names, uh, but there are some other uh, competing brands out there that have you know 
kind of you know try to make it make it easier on the consumer to to transition from carpet to to mopping and mopping the carpet but it still involves a lot of interaction with the consumer having to remove a piece or something like that before it transitions right. you know? so it it really when you look at things like that it's like it isn't really automatic <laughs> as much as they like to to advertise it as being so that's that's good Right, right. Let me let me tell you. In the past, we have done we have done similar. Uh, you know, um, what we have thought about right, thought about how a, a user would you know would deal with uh having a carpet and having a robot vacuum with mop, right? So in the past, it involves um a, a manual input within the smartphone app, right? Where you you basically draw uh what we call a no mop zone over your rug, right, over your carpet. And uh, and then the I mean the, the the drawback of that is that sometimes it's not accurate enough where you still get you know the edges you know uh, wrong or you basically need to draw a much larger uh, a, a square over your carpet right so to to be on on the safe side uh, but at the end of the day it's it's you know with the S seven it's it's just one extra you know input. Right, less. Uh, it's not. It's not extra, but one less input that you have to do. Right, so it's it's basically more convenience, and that's the overall idea. Like we want a deeper clean with more convenience with the S7. Well, that's the whole point of automation is making sure it's automated. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, now the the S7 is it is it similar to if we understand right uh, some of the nicer vacuums out there now it's it's using lidar for mapping the room with correct. Right. Um, you you see, uh, yeah, one or one 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 or two models on on the market, uh, especially the newer ones uh, during CS where they they introduce lidar. But the good thing is, um, we have been in the game for you know a couple of years now, five four five years now. We actually started off. Roblox actually started off um, by differentiating itself from you know from the you know from the options on the market. By introducing lidar, so um, we 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 placed lidar on on the you know on our robo vacuums, and we thought you know with with laser navigation, it's going to give you a much more accurate um, you know um, route of where to go, how to clean. Um, it basically gives you much less misses, right, and you know, basically a much more accurate you know. Uh, so yep. um, with LiDAR, it comes with a lot of uh, customizations, like, you know, what I told you about the no mop zones, you know, you can draw no, no go zones and, and, and you know, room, room cleaning options, they are all there with, you know, with the uh, made possible by LiDAR. Yeah, we've seen some of the best performance in the models that have come through our office and uh, where we've gotten a chance to benchmark some of these uh, coming from LiDAR. Uh, you said are using models that you know, like uh, com companies like EcoVac. You compare these to some of the ones that that simply just uses cameras to be able to map a room, and it's mm. uh, it's a term I like to use a lot, night and day, <laughs> because some of those other ones, you know, you can see it trying to map a room, and sometimes you get a decent map, and sometimes it just looks like you have a very extensive cave system, even though the room is just square. Exactly, James. Um, let me add to that because that's a good point. Um, you mentioned night and day, and uh, one of the benefits of having a lidar system is that no matter the lighting in your home, right? So no matter it's under the bed, is it you know you're cleaning in the middle of the night, lidar can actually map and be very accurate with or without lights, right? So that's that's one benefit. It's not dependent on you know the lighting uh, in your home, right? So that's that's one good thing. Now, does this uh, model have any connectivity to your any kind of a, a smart digital assistant inside the home, like a Amazon Alexa or Google Assistant or anything? Right. Yeah, it is. It is compatible with um, um, by now. I think three. So Amazon Alexa is one. Google Home is one. Um, Siri shortcuts is also one. So you basically can voice enable um, the 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 S seven, right? So you can say, hey. Um, <laughs> whatever you call your your assistant and and say you know get get it to clean start cleaning and and stop cleaning go back to the dock so that's that's some of the you know the the most common uh commonly used um you know commands and we are happy that it is it is available on the s7 cool google tell r2d2 to clean the living room <laughs> Perfect. So what yeah. what's the release is it available in, in the markets coming out this year what what's what are we looking at as a release date Right, so this is this is gonna be available uh, on March twenty four, right? So it's it's two months down the line um, from from the day we are you know we are we are making this recording. 
Um, and um, it's available on Amazon. So it's, it's going to be easy to, to find. Um, just, just go Roborock and you, you will see it on March 24th. And what's the price tag on something like this? Right. This is, this is going to be priced at $649. That sounds about average, especially when you're considering anything using LiDAR. So that's something that uh, some consumers may not be familiar with when they look at price tags for a robot vacuum like that. And they compare that to something like, uh, uh, we'll just say I, uh, iRobot <laughs> options out there, or the Roomba and whatnot that doesn't employ uh LiDAR in general, they're, you know, they're still using some of the camera technologies and whatnot. And you can find these at like Costco for $199 and mm-hmm. they see something with LiDAR and they're like, oh my gosh, that's expensive. But usually because they don't understand <laughs> what they're looking at. I mean, because again, right. night and day, right. you know, it's like uh, running <laughs> around with a little Ford Prius or Ford, uh, what do you call it? Pinto. And then next, you know, yeah. you see a nice Lexus roll up. And there's a reason why one is better than the other. So March 24th, about $650. Yeah. Perfect. Right. So, we'll, and we'll try to include some links in the description as well, uh, so that our viewers can actually get a nice uh, kind of a shortcut straight to the product if uh, if it's available for pre order or anything like that. If not, we'll try to update later with those links. Uh, well, Dan, thank you so much. This has been a, a pleasure to speak with you. We look forward to learning more about this product once it launches into the market. Thank you very much, James. If you want to stay on top of all the latest and greatest, and or at least the gadgets we cover. Remember to subscribe right here. Subscription button. Click it. You're going to want to. There's lots of videos, interviews, previews, all sorts of stuff. Button. Click it.